The baby boomer retirement crisis is far more dire than we're led to believe. Thousands of baby boomers are crossing into retirement every day, but less than half of them are financially prepared for this monumental life transition. What's even more concerning is the looming prediction by economists that Social Security will be on the brink of bankruptcy by the end of this decade. This impending crisis threatens to send shockwaves throughout our stock market, cripple our economy, overwhelm our healthcare system, and create a massive void in our workforce. Its ramifications will ripple through all of our lives, leaving us all profoundly affected. Now, picture this. Over 10,000 baby boomers are celebrating their 65th birthdays daily. This generation, often considered the wealthiest in American history, paradoxically finds itself in a precarious financial situation during their golden years. Census Bureau data from 2020 paints a startling picture. At that time, the U.S. population aged 65 and above accounted for about 17% of the total population, roughly 56 million people. However, fast forward to 2030 and we're staring at an estimated 76 million seniors, nearly double the 2008 figure. The first baby boomers started claiming Social Security at age 62 in 2008, and the last of them will reach full retirement age by 2031. Here's where the crunch comes, with such a massive wave of baby boomers stepping into retirement and claiming Social Security benefits, the financial stability of the Social Security Fund is teetering on the edge. Most boomers will likely be drawing these benefits for around two decades, and the fund's shortfall seems more a question of when, not if. Back in 2015, a Social Security Administration report warned that the Old Age and Survivors Insurance Trust OESDI, was projected to run out in 2030 without adjustments. Once depleted, tax revenue would cover a mere 56% of benefits, leaving a gaping hole that could potentially dwarf the bank bailouts of the past. The elephant in the room is whether the government will bail out its citizens as it has done with banks. Considering our staggering national debt, which exceeded $31 trillion or $246,868 per taxpayer, it's reasonable to assume that Social Security could crumble before the end of the decade, especially in the event of a severe and prolonged economic downturn. But that's not all. The baby boomer retirement crisis is poised to disrupt the U.S. job market in profound ways. While many baby boomers are hitting retirement age, a significant portion is not retiring at 65. Some are opting for part-time work, while others are pushing their retirement into their 70s. Why? Well, the harsh reality is that many boomers haven't saved enough to sustain their desired lifestyles in retirement, so they're choosing to work longer. This phenomenon is ushering in what experts are calling the Great Retirement, a trend that could overshadow even the Great Resignation in terms of its impact on the labor market. This massive wave of retirees exiting the workforce, whether for leisure, health reasons, or dissatisfaction with work conditions, is causing a surge in retirements. A Pew Research Center study reported that by the fall of 2022, almost 30 million baby boomers have retired, a staggering 213% increase from the previous year. This demographic shift is leaving gaping holes in the workforce, as companies scramble to fill the positions vacated by retirees. The workforce gap is widening, and its consequences are poised to be felt across various industries and sectors. So, while the baby boomer retirement crisis may not be in the headlines as often as it should be, its impact is profound and multifaceted, affecting not only retirees but all of us, shaping the future of our economy, workforce, and social systems. As the baby boomers step into retirement, a significant shift is occurring in the workforce landscape. Many of these retirees hold high-ranking positions during their careers, making the role of recruiters increasingly vital. However, this transition is not without consequences, and it may have implications for inflation that policymakers aren't fully accounting for. The imbalance in the labor market is pushing employers to offer higher wages to attract younger workers to fill positions that were traditionally held by older Americans. These wage increases, while necessary, have a ripple effect. Businesses, in turn, must raise prices to cover their rising labor costs, ultimately affecting consumers. And if you look closely, you can see that this inflationary trend is already unfolding before our eyes. Now let's delve into the alarming unpreparedness of the baby boomer generation for retirement. A report from the Transamerica Center for Retirement Studies paints a bleak picture. The median savings for boomers stand at a mere $144,000. 
Contrast this with the Bureau of Labor Statistics data that suggests this generation typically spends between $48,000 and $49,000 per year in retirement. In simple terms, their savings will run dry in just about three years after they retire. This is deeply concerning, especially when you consider that a 2014 study from the Stanford Center on Longevity revealed that almost one-third of baby boomers had no retirement savings. Now, let's put this into perspective. Experts generally recommend having around 80% of your pre-retirement income to maintain your current lifestyle. Unfortunately, Social Security benefits only cover about half of that for the average earner. If you haven't saved up, you'll be faced with the grim reality of significant spending cutbacks. It's astounding how the baby boomer retirement crisis highlights the collective amnesia of the wealthiest generation in American history as they find themselves in precarious financial situations, as noted by investment news analyst Greg Greenberg. But that's not the end of the story. The massive wave of retiring baby boomers is set to disrupt the delicate balance of supply and demand in the overall economy. With a substantial decline in consumer spending, a crucial component of GDP, we should brace ourselves for a slowdown in the growth rate of the American economy. As millions exit the workforce and grapple with reduced incomes, the impact on businesses and the overall economy is profound. And as if these challenges weren't enough, healthcare expenses are looming on the horizon, threatening to outstrip the savings of most retirees. Baby boomers tend to live longer but also contend with higher rates of chronic conditions like obesity, hypertension, high cholesterol and diabetes. These conditions necessitate expensive medical care, and the cost of both inpatient and outpatient healthcare services has surged by nearly 200% over the past two decades. This financial burden often falls on consumers through co-payments and other out-of-pocket expenses. The costs of prescription drugs, caregiving services, and skilled nursing facilities have also doubled in recent years. Adding to the complexity of this issue is the ongoing cost of living crisis. Rising expenses for housing, food and gas are disproportionately affecting the standard of living and the ability to save for the future of baby boomers, as highlighted in the Great Retirement Study. The findings of the Great Retirement Study, which surveyed over 2,000 adults aged 55 to 75, paint a bleak picture of the financial challenges faced by older Americans. The cost of living crisis has hit the majority of those over 55, with a staggering 61% reporting increasing financial difficulties over the past couple of years. For one in nine or 11%, this crisis has had a significant impact on their lives. Even more concerning, 68% of respondents say the cost of living crisis has directly impacted their standard of living. The impact isn't limited to the older generation alone. It ripples through society. Over half or 52% of American adults between 25 and 55 years old have also felt the pinch. Disposable income has decreased for approximately two-thirds or 63% of Americans over 55. What's more troubling is that 57% haven't been able to save and 35% have had to dip into their savings to cope with rising costs, potentially jeopardizing their retirement plans. These financial struggles have significant implications for the stock market, with many economists predicting a decade-long slump in stock prices. Baby boomers who own 56% of all stocks may be forced to sell off their holdings to meet daily expenses. Looking ahead, the outlook remains grim. More than half or 57% of respondents over 55 expect their financial situation to deteriorate over the next 12 months. Among those who lack confidence in their retirement prospects, a staggering 82% anticipate worsening finances. This pessimism also extends to those without a retirement plan, 68%, and those who anticipate providing care to loved ones, 69%, as well as those in poor health, 64%. These financial woes are compounded by impending energy cost hikes and a potential $788 increase in grocery bills driven by soaring food price inflation. In essence, this isn't just a retirement crisis, it's an economic and financial crisis that will impact all of us. The younger generations are inheriting a future marked by uncertainty, as leaders struggle to provide adequate support to older Americans. The once promising American future now appears more worrisome than ever. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more insights into this pressing issue.